Here's a motor taken from a golf trolley, or a, a motorised golf trolley in this case, hence the motor. Um, it's taken from a hillbilly model, and I'll put the exact details of that on the uh, screen as we talk. Um, the owner of this one brought this one in because it stopped working. Uh, we check the wiring, check the control unit, check the battery, and everything seems to be okay, uh, except the f for the fact that the motor wasn't drawing any current. Uh, so we kind of concluded that the motor was defective. Now, there are websites out there claiming that they'll sell you one of these. Whether they're the exact one is unclear. Um, and there are other companies selling uh, parts for, for the motor as well. But again, they're not cheap. Um, and the overall cost of one of these golf trolleys is about £300 plus. Uh, you can pay a lot more. So um, I wanted to try and repair this one as, as uh, cost effectively as I could. Um, Opening the unit up, which I'll show you a bit later, um, found that the brushes had worn ba worn down quite badly, and um, I thought it'd be quite quite a good experiment to uh, buy some carbon brushes. These ones came via Amazon. Fit them in and see how the motor performs. So uh, we'll see how we go. Now the motor itself is fairly simple in construction. You can just see on the back of the unit there, there's two long bolts which run all the way through the casing, secured to the other plate which must be removed. And then it's a case of pulling those two end caps apart. You can remove that little uh, drive cog from the unit before we start. And it just pulls off there. So I'll just remove those bolts and we'll have a look inside. Now I've already removed the little plastic cable grip from the uh, motor housing on this unit so I can pull that uh, end plate out and you'll see that one of the brushes is worn right down there. These are the original ones fitted uh, and the commutator there is quite badly charred so that would explain why the motor isn't spinning or drawing any current. And just to show again, here are the new brushes. There's the other one exactly the same. We'll fit those to the little uh, carriers there, solder these little, co little uh, copper fly leads in place, and also clean up the commutator with a little bit of wire wall, maybe a little bit of uh, wet and dry paper, just carefully not damaging the surface there. But you can see how badly burnt it is, probably where it's been arcing against the old brush there. And uh, see how we get on. Now the bearings on this unit are nice and smooth, uh, there's just one held in the cap there and the other one's just on the end there. And you'll notice there's a little spring clip on here which manages a bit of end float for the whole of the uh, spindle there. But nice and smooth so we don't need to replace those. Obviously if yours are worn you can either have a go at pulling those off with a puller uh, and regreasing them or um, a fairly standard uh, sealed bearing units there. So I'm sure you'd have no problem fi finding a set of those to fit. Well, what a difference a bit of wet and dry sandpaper can make. Um, you'll notice there's a little bit of scoring there still, but nothing I'm going to worry about too much. But uh, what a difference. Um, I just achieved that by using a little bit of uh, fine wet and dry um, there you go, P400 grade. Um, now, some people may say that's not the way to go, but um, faced with a, uh, the commutator looking as bad as it did, I had to sand it down just by looping it around it and uh, just gently removing the dirt and um, some of the scoring there. So, um, onwards and upwards. On the replacement brushes I've got, they've come with a little spade connector on the end there, you can just see it in shot. Uh, we don't need that on this back plate. What we do need to do though is cut those spade terminals off and uh, solder the flying lead onto the back as the motor manufacturer has done. Um, you always replace brushes in pairs, um, so we've just got to cut those ones out, solder the new ones in and uh, refit the brush to the carrier. And there you have it, new brushes fitted. There's the solder connection there, you can just see what I've done there, just soldered the uh, the flying lead onto the carrier. It's a bit unusual this design that the 
copper cable there is designed to go over the carry but there we are that's the way they've done it um, we'll refit that to the motor and see how it performs um, I know there'll be people watching this that say yes there are different carbon types and all that kind of stuff um, we've had to work with what we can get um, and I thought for £2.41 there they are again well there's the box it's worth a try Right, I've reassembled the motor, and just to prove I'm not a fraud, there's uh, my test battery. As you can see, the quality of the connections there, not very good, but uh, good enough for testing. And the motor's just purring away there, sounding quite sweet. So we'll just leave that on test for a few minutes, see how we go, and uh, refit to the golf trolley.